Hey there! Welcome back to my channel! I'm Alex, logo designer and icon maker in Adobe Illustrator. I am constantly expanding my icon portfolio, adding more new themes and sets to it. Recently, Meta released the new Quest 3 Mixed Reality headset. So, I decided to create a new set of icons, centered around the Metaverse theme. By the way, you can find my icon sets on sites like Adobe Stock, Shutterstock, iStock, Creative Market and many others. Before diving into drawing the icons, I start by outlining them. I use the Mind Node app to brainstorm and map out words associated with the Metaverse theme. Now I'll create a new project in Milanode for Moodboard. Great! Moodboard is done. Moving on to the sketch. This set will include 20 icons.
Sketch completed. And now I'll transfer it to Adobe Illustrator. When I create icons in Adobe Illustrator, I use a special file with a modular grid for each one icon. This helps me make pixel perfect icons with editable stroke. After a few hours of work, here's the icon set I've come up with. You can purchase this icon set and many others on my Camrod page. This is a universal set and can be used for your projects, whether it's for iOS or Android apps, websites, presentations or graphic design. For a more detailed look at this project, you can check it out on my Behance page through the link in the description box. By the way, if you need a set of icons or a logo, you can order them from me. I'm always open to new projects, and you can find the Google form for order in the description box. Also, it's possible that I already have icons in my collection that could suit your project. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Hey there! Welcome back to my channel. I am Alex, logo designer and icon maker in Adobe Illustrator. Recently, I made a tutorial video for my YouTube channel on using the gradient spine effect to create amazing and abstract gradient backgrounds that inspired me to start my own poster collection with unique gradient backgrounds. I took on this challenge and decided to create 20 posters. Before diving in, I thought of making a quick mood board to get inspired and gather enough color gradient combinations.
the next step was sketching. I needed to plan out the direction and number of curves for each poster in advance. Sketch done. Now I'll use it as a base to create posters in Adobe Illustrator. The blend effect allows for incredible color transitions, which really drives my creativity.
after several hours of work, I ended up with this collection of posters. Once the posters were done, I needed to put together a case for Behance. For this, I use Figma and Photoshop. In Adobe Photoshop, I edit mockups, inserting my posters. I got so into the process that I decided to print out a few posters and frame them. You can purchase this set of posters and much more on my Camrod page. These posters will look fantastic in your space and ignite your creative ideas. By the way, you can download three posters for free for personal use as a trial version. For a more detailed look at this poster collection, you can check it out on my Behance page through the link in the description box. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon! Hey there! Welcome back to my channel! I am Alex, logo designer and icon maker in Adobe Illustrator. I really love my MacBook Pro. In fact, I've been a loyal macOS user for over 10 years now. Here's how my first MacBook Unibody looked back in 2009. It was an incredible and revolutionary computer. Throughout these years, I've observed the evolution of the interface, especially the evolution of icons. And with the arrival of macOS Big Sur, the style and design of icons have completely changed. I really like the new design of icons in the macOS interface. By the way, some time ago, I created an icon for the ChatGPT desktop app. I have a video about it, and you can watch it through the link in the description box. Recently, I decided to create my own collection of wireless system icons in the macOS style. Before starting to draw icons, I need to create a new project in Milanote. First, I'll decide on the list of icons. Now it's time to search for reference images to prepare for this project and to get inspired. Great, mood board is ready. Let's move on to the sketch. In the 
this set, I'll make 20 icons. Sketch is ready. Now I'll transfer it to Adobe Illustrator. By the way, if you need a set of icons or a logo, you can order them from me. I'm always open to new projects. And you can find the Google form for order in the description box. Also, it's possible that I already have icons in my collection that could suit your project. When I create icons, I use a special file with a modular grid for each icon. In this set of icons, I use two different line thicknesses. After several hours of work, I've got this set of icons. You can buy this set of icons and many others on my Gumroad page. This set of icons is perfect not only for the macOS interface, but also for your project. For a more detailed look at this project, you can check it out on my Behance page through the link in the description box. I hope you enjoyed this video and this set of icons. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon.
Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alex, logo designer and icon maker. This right here is my workspace. And that's my MacBook Pro. I usually work right here, especially during the warm months, when the hot Spanish sun warms every inch of the land. But winter's here now, and working here isn't so cozy. Time to switch things up for the winter mode. Now working will be much cozier. And when it gets warmer, I'll move my table back closer to the window. These changes in my workspace inspired me to modification the font for my nickname – Blagut. Typography and creating fonts are some of my favorite things to do. By the way, I've already got a video on my channel about creating own font in Adobe Illustrator using Font Self Maker. You can check it out in the link in the description box. To fine tune the typography for my nickname, I'll make a mood board. Great, time to sketch out. I've got just five letters to work on, and I want to do it excellent.
I think this sketch is ready. Let's move it over to Adobe Illustrator. I'll be using a modular grid for the lettering. As a result, I got this inscription Blagut. Now I want to create seamless pattern using these letters. In Adobe Photoshop, I've prepared a few cover designs for social media. Now it's time to update the look across all my social profiles. It's a bit routine, but I'm really pleased with how it turns out. By the way, if you need a set of icons or a logo, you can order them from me. I'm always open to new projects, and you can find the Google form for order in the description box. Also, it's possible that I already have icons in my collection that could suit your project. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon. In this video, I'll show you the process of designing icons dedicated to Valentine's Day. Where do we start when creating an icon set? Is it really that difficult? What's the benefit of making a mood board? Why make a sketch? Which program should you use to create icons? Over my long career, I've heard a lot of questions about icon design. Let's break them down step by step. In my portfolio, I already have around 6000 icons, and I am excited to share my design process with you. Valentine's Day is approaching, one of my favorite holidays, and I've decided to create an icon set in its honor. Sure, you can ask AI to create icons for you, however, the results might not be satisfying. In my opinion, designing icons is a meticulous and time-consuming process that I cannot fully and qualitatively accomplish yet. By the way, let's ask AI to create a few vector icons or the theme of Valentine's Day and see the result at the end of this video. Some designers believe that creating a mood board is unnecessary, they argue that it's a waste of time. 
but I disagree. I start all my projects by searching for inspiration and generating ideas. To do this, I create a mood board with a rough list of icons, various photos and illustrations related to the theme. I choose these images based on my emotions and taste, helping me thoroughly explore the topic. Now the mood board is done. Based on it, I'll start sketching. But before that, let me show you my new set of pencils. The set includes five metallic pencils of different thicknesses. There are also additional erasers for pencils. And these are colored leads 2 mm thick. It's an excellent set that further inspires me to design icons and logos. But why bother sketching? Can't you design icons directly in Adobe Illustrator? I always sketch for my projects, because it helps visualize all my ideas quickly in the early stages, saving a lot of time in the end. Usually I create sets of 16 or 20 icons. For this project I'll make 20 icons. Sketch is ready. Now it can be photographed and then transferred to Adobe Illustrator. Based on it, I'll design vector icons. I'm quite tired, so it's time to take a coffee break.
you can use any vector editor to create icons, for example Figma or CorelDRAW. But I prefer Adobe Illustrator, as I've been working with it for over 10 years. When I create icons in Adobe Illustrator, I use a special file with a module grid for each one icon. This helps me make pixel-perfect icons with editable stroke. After a few hours of work, I've created this icon set dedicated to love and Valentine's Day. You can purchase this icon set and many others on my Gumroad page. This is universal set and can be used for your projects, whether it's for iOS or Android apps, websites, presentations or graphic design. For a more detailed look at this project, you can check it out on my Behance page through the link in the description box. I appreciate your likes and comments. If you need a set of icons or a logo, you can order them for me. I am always open to new projects. And you can find the Google form for order in the description box. Also, it's possible that I already have icons in my collection that could suit your project. Well, now let's take a look at the icons that I created in Adobe Illustrator. Some icons look quite good, but they appear overly detailed, more like illustrations. So, I asked it to create simpler icons. And here's the result. What do you think of these icons? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinions on the AI-generated icons. Now you can see for yourself how challenging it is to create icon sets. It takes time, but the design process and the final result bring me immense satisfaction. These are two rectangles. If we align and tilt them in a certain way in space, we get the logo for MKBHD YouTube channel, founded by Marcus Brownlee. It's simple and brilliant. But what if I tell you that I came up with a small improvement for this logo, a redesign. I really like how Marcus creates his videos, excellent video quality, cool motion design for the channel's signature style, video effects and other aspects of high quality production grab attention. I often watch the MKBHD channel while working. My phone is next to my laptop playing videos. I usually watch the videos during routine work. Before starting the logo redesign, I'll create a mood board. Here I add various photos, illustrations, brand elements and other details that inspire me and help me better analyze ideas.
While creating the mood board, one simple idea for the logo redesign came to me, which I will try to draw and explain to you. Let's start by introducing a figure called the Super Lips. This is my favorite shape, I often create logos based on it. In simple terms, this shape is something between a square and a circle. Back in 1952, Miller Font had the letter O in the form of a super lips. Super lips gained widespread use in iOS 7 for forming the outer counter of app icons. This shape is still used today in iOS and even in macOS. Moreover, the new logo of the Xiaomi company is based on a super lips. The regular MKBHD channel logo is based on two rectangles. I suggest in replacing them with two super ellipses. If you tilt them slightly in space, it will embody my idea. I think it looks cool. This logo not only refers to the shape on the YouTube logo, but also to the shape of app icons. The complex yet simple form of the logo is very technological. It adds freshness and individuality to the MKBHD channel. The sketch work is complete. Let's take a coffee break. By the way, if you need a logo or a set of icons, you can order them from me. I am always open to new projects. And you can find the Google form for orders in the description box. I use Adobe Illustrator to create a vector logo. The super lips will be the basis for the logo. To correctly rotate it in space, I will use 3D rotation. I have been looking for a suitable font for the logo for a long time. I think that the Ifkaika font will be perfect for the logo. Now the logo is ready.
for a more detailed look at this project, you can check it out on my Behance page through the link in the description box. I appreciate your likes and comments. I think the MKBHD channel has an excellent logo, but I came up with an idea on how to change it. I decided to share this idea with you. Which logo do you like more? Write your thoughts in the comments. I'll be interested to read them.